Hello, my name is Terry Dean Nemers, and I'm a malicious prosecution victim. On July, 20, on July 6, 2011, I was maliciously arrested, and now I'm being maliciously prosecuted by the lawless thugs in Polk County, Minnesota. Now, uh, today is an update of my August 15, 2011, supposed initial appearance. Now, we had a new kangaroo for the kangaroo court, uh, Charles Glazerud out of Stevens County. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that Judge Gerald Seibel came out of Stevens County, Minnesota. And I told him that Chad the Thon Larson sent me a weapon in the Todd County Jail. Well, you know, it's one of those embarrassing facts they don't want to really talk about in court. And, you know, it's kind of surprising that... Uh, Actually, my hearing was at 3. 3. Supposed to be at 3. At quarter after 3, we asked the bailiff what the heck was going on. And then uh, a little bit later, uh, the assistant Polk County attorney came over and talked to me. Now, this is rare because this is the, actually the second time that day that he came up and talked to me. Because the last time I tried to talk to uh, Neil Nelson, assistant city attorney who is now the county attorney back in 2009 when he was maliciously prosecuting me he ran away like a little bitch okay but today Tim Roth comes walking up to me sits right down next to me right in between this other guy who came to visit me one a, a individual from YouTube who came and visit me who had a nice long chat he's he will remain anonymous but uh, he was the only supporter other than my mother who was there but old Timmy sat down and uh, explained to me that, oh boy, here's the new disc and everything like that, and here's the instructions, oh, you got to go through all this and that, and boy, when I loaded up the computer, did the exact same thing as I did the last time, boy, now they ran, and I didn't even follow Timmy's instructions, so, Timmy, I don't think that they're the same videos, but it seems to me you did claim that they were the same things, didn't you, in, in court? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, obviously, my YouTubes are working. And again, you please give these people a call. Ask them why, you know, why these trumped-up charges, you know, why they're messing with my evidence, stuff like that. Because, you know, Timmy, I have both discs. Comparison, contrast, you know, and tomorrow I'll do another video and I'll show you the difference between the discs, okay? But today, I'm just going to give you a basic, uh, an idea of what happened today. Uh, again, so then Timmy toddles off, and this guy starts the conversation with me, and he goes, "Oh, I don't you remember I, I, you know, contacted you through YouTube?" And I go, "Oh, I know exactly who you are." Of course, the bailiff was trying to find out who he was, and I said, "So you got to watch out because they want to find out who you guys are." I said, "And you know, if you don't want to know, I'm not telling." So he didn't want to let me know, let anyone know, so I'm not telling him. So we had a nice chat. Because we needed a nice long chat. I mean, we got there like five minutes to three. Okay? Or ten minutes to three. Somewhere around there. Okay? So, five minutes to three comes. Three o'clock comes. Judge comes titling up the steps. And I recognize him from the Stevens County website under county attorney. Okay? And I brought this up in, in the uh, little kangaroo court hearing there, too. And because he said that he recognized me. You know? Because when... Because we brought it up that uh, the judge, you know, was wasn't on was on time, but uh, supposedly the court reporter wasn't or something like that. So um, we ended up waiting there till I don't know, 25 after 3:30 or something like that. So I made made sure I got it on the record that uh, he wasn't, uh, you know, his court wasn't on time because we were sitting there waiting, and he tried to. Didn't want to get all the little details on there, but he certainly did apologize. And he said, he said that you know he saw me there, and that's how I said I recognized him from the Stevens County website. And of course he says, well, of course you know that I'm not no longer the county attorney there. And I said, well, obviously I know that, and you obviously should contact the Stevens County uh, uh, officials and tell them to get you off of their website. And he said, well, I have to do that. See, so because the judge was oh so nice today. You know, because, remember, we had bad cop the last time with Staff Schultz the last two times. And now we've got good cop coming here. See? 
And again, exactly what I said was going to happen. You're going to have the gas lighting, you're going to have the stone walling, and you're going to have them invoking their right to remain silent. See? Because the very first, some of the very first words he comes out of his mouth is that this actually came about on July 6th, and then you had a hearing on the 7th, and then that was my cue to kick in there and go, ah, so you mentioned these things. So I'd like to know what, why, uh, why a judge, why a judge who has a vested interest in the case is hearing my case to start with, and then sends me down for a malicious uh, competency evaluation. I think I kept on saying hearing, but, you know, the deal. And plus, then I get hauled up here, and then it'll... The old doc isn't here, so I can't roast his ass on the on the witness stand. And I do believe I pretty much said that. And uh, and I said, here's a report. I said I can't uh, question a report. See, of course, what they're going to do is is you know use those little uh, those little treasures that uh, the doc hid in there, you know, to question my my thinking and stuff like that. See, because if I had him on the witness stand, I could rip him a new asshole. You know, and bring up all these points, but see now it's just presumed that you know the, that the uh, Compsi uh, report is gold. Everyone's accepted it. The only problem is the person who forced me into it knew I was competent. No probable cause. It's criminally defaming me. See, because does the uh, does the official court records say that the judge, who the crooked kangaroo court judge, had an agenda to defame me to Discredit me, defame me, dehumanize me, delegitimize my cause. No, didn't say any of those things. See, it's just on there that I had to have a competency hearing. So, what they do is they smear you. See, because now everyone presumes, ah, see, he's really, there might be something wrong with him. There's doubt about him. See, that's that's the whole purpose of this little deal. And that's why old Charles' buddy there, he wanted to get off it as fast as possible. But I brought it up again. Because he said, well, geez, I don't know what goes on in the minds of, of different people. I said, ah, but you're aware of the, the court transcript, see. So they want to get away from the facts. Again, if I would do, if I would have done this, well, well, geez, we have the evidence right here. Here's the transcript. This is what you said. This is what you did, see. But when it's Judge John Staffshire who has a vested interest in the case, whose wife assaulted me July 25th, 2010, criminal case number... Two zero one zero two zero one zero one seven four five filed December twenty eighth twenty ten. They don't want to talk about it. It's time for Stonewall. Time for gaslighting. See, you they need to screw with your mind to make you think that oh it's no big deal. No, it is a big deal. That's what I kept on telling. So you can keep on bulldozing ahead or steamrolling ahead, but I'm gonna keep bringing it up. I'm gonna inform other people. See, because it's a lawless little shithole down there. You know, because everyone was so nice. The judge was nice. Tim Roth was nice. The assistant Hook County attorney. And the bailiff was so nice. But I guarantee you, they all hate me. See? It's real simple. Because, again, clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence of local corruption. And they don't like me bringing it up. So, <clears throat> they had to get off this topic as fast as possible. And uh, the weapons in the Todd County Jail as fast as possible and the previous malicious prosecution as fast as possible. See? 2009 malicious prosecution. They have to get off these topics. They wanted to railroad ahead. See? See? So, so again, he had to read me my rights. Of course, again, it's kangaroo court. There are no rights there. The agenda is already set, but they're just going to keep plowing ahead. See? And I told them that's what they're going to do. But I'm going to keep on telling people what's going on. See? So, he wanted me to plead. He said, you certainly can plead guilty today. And I said, <laughs> I said, you you had to have a cop see hearing for me if I was stupid enough to agree to that. So then, I said, as you well know, I am a malicious prosecution victim. He said, well, you know, I see, I can't, I can't take that as a plea. You know, so, and I, the, we, he wanted to know about, you know, moving up my evidentiary hearing. No, 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 no. I'm not helping you people. I want as far away as possible. See, I'm not asking for a, a speedy one, because then they have less time. I mean, I have less time to expose them. And that's not going to happen. See? And uh, for one malicious prosecution, they they set the trial date on the very last day I was going to be in jail. 
Because so everyone goes, oh, you're going to go to prison. And I said, I'm leaving today because <laughs> my six months are up. See? Same thing with today. You know how many people asked me if I was going to go to jail today or thought I was going to go to jail today? Ooh. I'm not going to tell you. Because it was kind of, it was just slightly, let's put it irritating. Okay? I said, don't you people have any faith? See? Because I have faith. Okay? I know what I'm doing. I have someone that tells me, you know, it says in uh, Luke 21, 15, it says it'll give you a mouth that'll help you refute your enemies when you need it. And what did I do before? <laughs> I called on the guy who I needed the most. Because I didn't need anyone to be there, actually. See, I needed me and the person who's going to help me out the most. Okay? Luke 21, 15. See, because I didn't go to jail for contempt of court. I never stood up when the judge came in. No, never do. Didn't do it for a staff show, time one, time two. I haven't done it for a lot of these guys. See? You'd get thrown in jail for contempt of court. But see, it's it's my religious beliefs. See, and that's just another issue they didn't want to tackle. Another free speech thing. See? I practice my religious beliefs. I was practicing my religious beliefs when I was filming these these criminals down there. See? It says Proverbs twenty eight four, contend with the wicked. See? So again, I'm just doing what I'm doing. So, when is my omnibus hearing? Boy, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, I asked him, is it going to be tomorrow? <laughs> he says, oh, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. We'll put it off a ways. So, so is that going to be 29 days? Who knows? We'll find out. Find out in the mail. But anyhow, um, so again, people... If you thought about coming, you missed an interesting time. You would have learned a lot. Again, like I said, gaslighting, stonewalling, and invoking their right to remain silent. Because, again, these are the points that I keep bringing up. Weapon of the Todd County Jail, malicious prosecution of 2009, perjury. Remember, that's what I filed the criminal charges against about the sheriff. Commits perjury there. See? You know, it, it, say if this was actually an honest judge, you know what he'd do? That's what happened? I'm going to investigate this. Did he say, because I asked him, you know, what What are you going to do now? Because he said, oh, I don't know what goes in the minds of, of these people. That was his who. Because yeah, I asked, you know, or I mean, oh, why? Why Why was? Why is this a judge with a vested interest sitting in my case? Well, I don't know what goes in the minds of people. I said, really? Then what are you going to do about it? Of course, he had to change the subject real quick. See, again. These are the points that people need to keep bringing up. Malicious prosecution in 2009. Judge John Stavschultz, wife, who assaulted me. July 25th, 2011. Judge John Stavschultz, criminal defamation complaint that I filed against him in Benson, in, in uh, yeah, Swift County in Benson. Case number 10104429. See? It's their uh, Achilles heel, if you will, because they don't want to talk about it. See, these are their criminal acts. They don't want you to bring them up. They only want to talk about the imaginary charges against me. And that's the detail. Anyhow, an update tomorrow. Thank you for your time.